I'm Alfred Bundy. We're here having a special edition of Meet the Leaders at the New Jersey League of Municipality Convention in Atlantic City. My special guest is the Mayor of Marlboro in New Jersey and John Hornick. John Hornick. Hornick. I want to get that right, John. That's right. Okay. Thanks, Alfred. Now listen, John. First thing, tell us about your city. Tell us about your town. How long have you been mayor? Uh, I've been mayor of Marlboro Township for 11 years. We are the, roughly the 50th biggest town in New Jersey with 43,000 residents located in Western Monmouth. The beauty about Marlboro is you can commute to the city and you're only 20 minutes from the shore. Oh, that is so cool. it's an that's ideal good. location. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, I understand that you're working on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I even heard that you got a new road program. Is that what you're, tell us about what you're doing with the roads. So we're focusing after the harsh winters we've had on infrastructure improvement. So what we're really proud of is that we've gotten a AAA bond rating. So it means we're borrowing money cheaper than most towns in New Jersey. So we've used that borrowing power to now reinvest in our infrastructure. And this year we're doing a $5 million infrastructure improvement on our 200 plus miles of road. So the harsh winters have taken their toll like they were throughout New Jersey. So we're making sure we're keeping up with that because the money spent today will defer more expensive costs later on. I also understand you're concerned about the school district getting fair funding. Correct. Uh, where's Marlboro in this? I know Abbott has a way of impacting all kind of towns. So how does it impact Marlboro? So Marlboro does And I should clarify the Abbott funding uh, so, formula that we have in New Jersey. So the formula you have in New Jersey has not been good to Marlboro. So uh, inevitably we pay more than what we get back. We have a very competitive school district, both on the K through eight level and on the high school level. Our students do very well, but we would look for more funding to keep improving our education because the education is the key to a town's growth and sustainability in the end. And we're really focused on that. Another thing in the school district we're concerned about is safety. And with all the shootings going across the country, we are making sure that Marlboro schools are the safest they can possibly be. What so, are you doing? So we're doing a bunch of things. We've done undisclosed security measures increasing, which we can't really talk about. But I am proud to say we have an, uh, an armed, trained Marlboro police officer in every one of our schools. And we have several of them in the high school. Now, that's not a solution to the problem, but it's there to keep everybody calm and make sure that if there is an incident, we have our best and our brightest there to respond immediately. Affordable housing is another concern. Share with me your concern. Well, uh, unfortunately, our state government has punted that completely to the court system. I have all too much experience with the affordable housing crisis in New Jersey, being that Marlboro has been on the receiving end of lawsuits for over the last 30 years. Now, I assume Mount Laurel's decision has somehow or another impacted this, some of this legal concern. It has. It has. But nobody's arguing the premise of whether a town has to provide its fair share of affordable housing. The question comes into what is that number and what's sustainable in the, in the community. So uh, we are in court constantly hmm. fighting this out with developers that only want to build more housing in towns because they want a profit. And we are working as hard as we can, but we really need the state government to step in and take control of this. How can the state help? Well, the state could create legislation that allows for solutions. For instance, a long time ago, there was a thing called RCAs, Regional Contribution Agreements, Absolutely. where towns could donate money to other towns to allow for affordable housing. And it was within the region, and honestly, it was constitutional, because that's what the original Fair Share Housing Act called for. That was done away with a, a legislative 8,500. And it's something that the, the, the state should think about bringing back. Because a town like Marlboro, who is building now a, an abundance of affordable housing, or what we like to call generational housing now, because people just- Tell me the difference. Oh, it's, it's a lot of difference. Um, affordable housing has a section eight connotation to it, but that's not what this is. People want to move to Marlboro, their new, families starting out now, that wait, need wait, a place to read. Is this millennial, Generation Z, what is it? It's millennial, one, it's millennial, but two, it's also seniors. There are a lot of seniors in town who love the town that don't want to leave, but they need to unload their house after 30 plus years. Got it. So we're building housing, generational housing that could support these type of constituents. And it's more than that. People have changed in life. There's divorce, there's losing of a spouse to a death, there's widow. And so, so all these people need a place to stay. So we are making uh, accommodations for this type of housing, but the numbers that are coming down from these judges 
are, are, that, are, that are just picked out of a spreadsheet, really don't consider environmental factors, traffic factors, quality of life things that are so important to everybody who chooses to live in a town like Marlboro and surrounding areas. So what's happened is the judges have, the, the state legislature has punted on this completely. The governor's punted on this completely. And it's not just this governor, it was the previous governor. And now judges are sitting there with a spreadsheet going, okay, give me thousands of new homes. Now that's real impact on communities and it's not the way you do planning. And there's very little we could do as local officials except litigate and fight, which is mm. more costly. Mm. We need very real, costly. We need, a, we need a real solution to this problem, and we need someone on the state level to take the lead, whether it's the Senate, the Assembly, the Governor, to come up with a final resolution for our, our affordable housing crisis in the state that all 566 towns can live with. Are you lobbying your state legislators? I've, every day. Every day. Both Republican and Democrat. <laughs> We're out of time. I want to get this right. This is the mayor of Marlboro, John Hart. Ornick. Ornick. I don't want to mess that up. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Al. We're here in Atlantic City at Meet the Leaders.